Hello everyone, Aerofight here, and today I'm going to bring you another redstone tutorial. And I know it's been a while, so I'm sorry for that, but uh, hopefully this will make up for it. So today is a smooth stone generator. It's a little better than cobblestone because it can uh, be broken a little easier, and if you want to, you can self-touch it for smooth stone. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't really matter what type of generator you make. But this one is really small. All right, there is no redstone underneath the ground, so everything that you see here is what you need. I believe it's a 5 by 4 pr footprint, which is pretty small, and it only goes up 3 blocks, so that's not too bad. It really only needs to go up 2 if you don't want to cover the lava there. Um, speaking of the lava, that probably means you don't want to build it by wood, and I would recommend replacing this ground with something that's a little bit easier to break with a pickaxe so you don't break this. Uh, or you don't break the floor while you're trying to break this, rather. Or you could build it up just a little bit so that you're breaking at this level and then you don't have to worry so much about it in the first place. Okay, so really easy. You turn it on, it goes. It's pretty fast. It's about as fast as you're going to get it anyway. And uh, you can turn it off using the lever. So, really simple. Okay, so this is how you build it. You just make this little, I don't know what that is, oval kind of deal. Ovalish as you can get, I guess, with this small. And you place, well, okay, before we place this, place that there. And then place your last block. Okay? And then place your water here. Now, you need lava to fall on top of this area right here. So, um, and we don't necessarily want it to be the source block. It doesn't need to be anyway. And so we're going to make almost the exact same thing, just a little bit shifted to the side here. Right? And we're going to place lava on top. And you'll hear it make the smooth stone. There you go, it made the smooth stone. And then you just kind of put a cap on it so that it can't fall in or whatever. You know, that's my opinion anyway. Then you take a redstone compared to there because we're going to put make a small little hopper clock right here. There, so the comparator will get a signal every time there's an item in this hopper right here. And then we'll just place one item in. And looky there, already going. Then if you want to turn it off, flip the lever, and you've got it. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. If you did, it'd be great if you'd hit the like button below. And if you really liked it, it'd be awesome if you'd also hit the subscribe button that's in the bottom middle-ish portion of your screen now. If you just didn't like it, I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know what you didn't like so much about it, so that if I feel that it is a problem, I can at least attempt to fix it. So if you can, please post something in the comments about it, or you can send me a private message about it. Okay, now something that you could have missed on the left side of the screen there is a command block sliding door that can be used in Minecraft 1.5. It uses the test for command, so it definitely has to be at least in 1.5. And it's uh, really simple. You can make it open for people in creative or survival or just you or whatever you want. On the right side of the screen, you'll see another generator tutorial on how to make an obsidian generator in 1.5. Um, it does work in multiplayer. I have it on my University Craft server right now. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Later.